Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's project, we're gonna learn how to put a power supply in a computer. Let's get started. Alright guys, before we get started today, I want to tell you about a collaboration that I've done with a good friend of mine, Byron Pasley. Byron is a local musician to me who has a YouTube channel. And I'm going to post the link, is it here or here, I don't know which one. Go to his channel right now and subscribe and then come back here and watch the rest of this video. So I'll give you a second, I'll wait for you. Three hours later. Byron is a very good musician. Played music with him before, and uh, he has some great stuff on his channel. Most of what he puts on his channel is covers, but he has written some very good um, music himself over the past couple years. Maybe one day he'll share some of that with us on his channel. So get to work, Byron. All of the music that I'm going to be putting on my channel from here on out, maybe not all of it but at least starting with my intro on this video. Hopefully pretty soon, all the music on my channel will be original music by Byron. I really appreciate his efforts, so make sure you head on over to his channel and give him a subscribe. So today's project, we're gonna be working on this old computer. Now this is one that I've had hooked to my network at my house for quite a few years, and it has a bunch of pictures on it. I mean, there's like tens of thousands of pictures on this computer. It's got a couple of uh, terabyte hard drives in it, so that's the main thing I used it for was just storing stuff on it that could be accessible from other computers on the network. Now, this thing, uh, a few years ago, and yes, it has been that long, <laughs> um, decided to bite the dust. No power, no nothing, won't do anything. And the pretty sure the power supply is bad in it. And so I've got another power supply here. Uh, that hopefully will work and I'm going to put that in there and we're going to see if that takes care of the problem. So most of these old desktop type PCs uh, come apart either from a panel on the side or the, um, screws in the back that you take out. The object is to get this metal cover off. In this particular case on this Dell it has a little piece in the back that you push down and then the cover slides off. So the power supply for most of these old PCs is just a box. And there's where your cord plugs in at. And they have all these cables coming out the end of them. So to get these out, there's a couple of screws. This one has four in it that hold the power supply inside the case. You just take those screws out. Uh, make sure it's unplugged. I don't know if I need to say that or not, but if you don't know to unplug the computer before you're uh, opening the case, you probably will need to be replacing the power supply.
seeing a few things here that are concerning. Um, hopefully the motherboard is not bad and what's causing the issue, but I have a capacitor right here that the top is swelled up on. When these capacitors get old and a lot of the electrolytic fluid uh, is gone out of them, they'll bubble up on the top. They'll get really hot and bubble up on the top. There's one there that's doing that, and then there's one over here also. So hopefully that's not what the issue is. If it is, we'll be doing something different. get the screws out the cables undone this just comes out the top and the new one goes back in the same way that one came out all right let's see if we can get these plugged back in Starting with the motherboard. And then the plug for CD drive. plug for this hard drive and plug this top in so I can see what I'm doing. plugs into if you can see that or not but plugging it into this hard drive and there's one more that plugs into the motherboard That's got everything. Get the rest of this put back together. All right, before I put the cover on, I'm going to test it. And we have liftoff. All right, guys, I won't bore you with the process of getting all of the stuff off of it and putting it on something else, but hopefully this helped you in some way. If you've got a computer that won't power up, it could be just a power supply. Power supplies are fairly cheap. Slap one in it, might be good to go. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and also go to my page and subscribe also 
make sure you go check out Byron Pasley's page. Again, I'll give the links. I don't know which side it is, this one or this one. There'll be a link and also in the description, a link to his page. Go check him out. Give him a follow and listen to some of his music. Thank you guys. See you later.